What's up guys, Kayla from New Prom Cubing, and today I'm going to teach you how to recognize OLL during inspection with the Ortega method on a 2x2. So, a blindfold will be cool to have for when you get more advanced, but for the beginning, pen and paper is always really, it'll help you a lot, and of course then, your 2x2. So with your 2x2, first thing you want to do is give it a nice hand scramble here, and then... I'd say that's scrambled up enough. Then you want a, then you want to find an easy solution for a side. So I can do here U, R2, U, R prime. So bring this back here, and then R2, bring it right here, and put that in there, R prime. U, and then write your solution down to you are prime. Now, you want to draw the face of a 2 by 2 This will be the top face. And then, here, we're going to track three different pieces. This one, and the three easiest pieces, we think. This one will be pretty easy. U, does nothing to it. And then R2, then another U, R prime. So, one, this piece will go to right here. And then we can do another one. Let's track this one. No, this one, because then it will be affected by the R's. Then, so U, R2, U, R prime. Then we'll have one right here. Once again, let's track this one. U, R2, and then U, R prime. This one will be right here. So once we've tracked three, we can deduce from this what the last corner will be. And so this one will be an anti suning And so then we can, uh, then what you do here, recognize where the anti suning will be, and then solve the side, and then go to the anti suning without pause, and then you have PBL. And so, this is a really nice skill to have, um, just so you can plan out more in inspection and reduce pauses, which is a big part of 2x2 two two since it's, it's such a fast event. So, if you understand it now and want to go practice it on your own, thanks for watching and are you prime cubing? But, if you don't want to watch it, if you don't want to go practice right now, and you're still struggling, like, oh, I don't know how to do this, then stay and I will do a few more examples so you can see and hopefully that will help you. So I will do a hand scramble again and I will use like a lot of detail to describe what I'm doing here. So this is gonna be harder since it's no, it's not a bar. If there's not a bar on your hand scramble, or not, not a, necessarily a bar, but a thing of two, right like this, then you don't, then you would want to do like hand scramble it more a bit because it's hard to do without a bar. Eventually, you'll learn to do it with 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 or without a bar. So here, I'm gonna do F R U R prime. F R U R prime. You see that? So an F and insert this. Now I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna draw the top face of it. So we're solving red here. It it, it um. You, ha you pretty much have to be color neutral to be to do this. So I'm going to track this one. F brings it up here. Right here. F brings it up here. And R does nothing to it right here. U, R prime. So it gets to the back slot here. A little circle there. Now, let's track this one. So then F brings it to right here. And then R, U, R prime. This one will be right here. Now let's track another one. We can track this one. This one will stay where it is. F. F does nothing to it. R hides it in the back slot. U does nothing to it because it's hidden. And then R prime stays right here. Then here we have it. And then if you want, you can put your blindfold on. So what you do is you know this and then try to do it without pauses. 
or without looking at the top layer and do O though, I will do one more for an example. So hopefully this will help you not struggle anymore. And if it's too hard for you to do all three, tra to track all three, then what you need to do is, oh, I don't have a block here, so I'm just gonna more. Then you should start by tracking either one or two, and then track, or like, start by tracking either one or two, and then build your way up. So, here I'm gonna do a U, wait. Okay, it's different than I thought it would be. Okay, so I can do, That's, that's too long of a solution, and that would be, like, too hard for you guys if you're just learning this. So I'm going to be doing this, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, R2 on green. U prime, R, U prime, R2. I, di I didn't want to pick a super complicated solution because that will take longer, and... If you are still watching and you're struggling, you probably don't want to have to do complicated solutions right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, so I'm going to check this one first. So U brings it to here. And R, U, or, oh yeah, so U prime, R, and then U prime R2. So we have one back here. Let's draw our two by two face. One right here. Then we track this one next. U R. Then U prime R2. One back here. See that? R brings it to here. And then U does nothing to it. One, two, R2. So panel back there. Then, track this one, U brings it to right here, R hides it, U, R2, comes back to here. Now that we have tracked three of the corners, we can tell, oh, it's another anti sune like our first one. So, what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna do, was we're gonna solve our side, and then know how to hold the cube after to do the anti sune Z, you wanna just, this is to eliminate pauses. And so, that is hopefully helpful to you. Um, I certainly had fun learning this. And also, try it with a blindfold. It's nice to do that. And also, like, fun to impress your friends. But maybe not, because, like, they'll expect you to solve the whole thing. But know that it's impressive if you're just starting out. And I thought it was really cool when I, when I started learning it. So, yeah. I hope this helped, like I said. And you must ask yourself one question. Are you prime cubing?